When you're switching back and forth between DISPORT and any other FDA-approved neuromodulator, it can get confusing since they don't have the same unit equivalency. It can slow you down because you have to do a mental calculation when you've used the dilution recommended by the manufacturer. Wouldn't it be helpful to not have to do any mental calculation? For example, wouldn't it be useful if every tenth of a cc of, say, Botox would deliver the equivalent dose as a tenth of a cc of Dysport and vice versa? By doing that, the risk of under or overdosing decreases when you're moving back and forth from Dysport to whatever other neurotoxin you might use in your office. There's a tiny bit of math involved, but it's not complex, and I'll show it to you here. This is the equation. U is the number of units you have on hand. DU is the desired number of units you'd like to end up with in the DV, which is your desired volume. And X is what we solve for. This is the volume of diluent you'll add to the full bottle in order to achieve your desired yield, or the DV, which is your desired volume. Let's run through a couple of quick examples. Since most practitioners are already using the Allergan recommended Botox dilution of 2.5 cc's for every 100 unit bottle, most people know that this dilution yields 4 units in every tenth of a cc. So let's show how this equation would solve for that 2.5 cc's. Our first order of business is to cross multiply. 100 units of Botox times 0.1 cc's equals 10 units per cc. 4 units times x equals 4x units. Now I divide the 10 units per cc by 4 units. I'll illustrate it here in the usual mathematical formula. The units cross out. And when you do the division, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 cc's. And now back to our original question of how can we make things easier when we use neurotoxins that are not unit equivalent, as would be the case if we were switching between Dysport and Botox. Dysport is supplied in 300 unit bottles. With respect to potency, the literature tells us that 10 units of Dysport is roughly equivalent to 4 units of Botox. Since that's our conversion ratio, here's our equation. 300 units is what we have in a bottle. To have the same potency per volume with Botox, we want to have 10 units in each tenth of a cc. And we cross multiply. We calculate just as before. 300 units times 0.1 cc's equals 30 units per cc. And 10 units times x equals 10x units. Next. We divide 30 units per cc by 10 units, the units cancel out, and we arrive at 3 cc's. By using dilutions that produce yields with equivalent potencies, you're less likely to under or overdose treatment areas.